Hi, I'm Chris Weesey, and today I want to talk about four key study factors that make for a successful candidate. With our shift to the learning ecosystem, or LES as I may refer to it, and with our shift to computer-based testing, we are now able to quantitatively assess candidates' aggregate study habits and testing outcomes. There's a combination of four factors that make for a successful candidate. Time, progress, practice, and proficiency. There's no guarantees, but if you hit these metrics I'll share in this video, then your probability of passing will be dramatically higher. While these four factors are based on our observations from the CFA Institute LES, they are probably broadly true. If you're using something other than the LES to study, there's still an effective general guide. The first success factor is time. There is a direct correlation between the number of hours studied and the pass rate. We've been able to validate that 300 hours of study time is a good minimum target to strive for. After that threshold, passing is likely, and that likelihood increases with each additional hour you spend studying. Of course, study time in isolation is not enough. If you invest 300 hours, but you only get through half the content, you're still not likely to pass. So the second success factor is progress. Strive to get through the entire curriculum. But if there are a couple of readings where you just don't quite get to them, you still have a good chance of passing the exam. And if you are struggling to get through everything, try the adaptive study plan in the LES, which will help you prioritize curriculum topics according to your individual strengths and weaknesses. The third success factor is practice. Not all of your study time should be spent reading. Cement your learning by applying the concepts with practice questions. We found that the successful candidate correctly answers a thousand or more practice problems, including questions from the mock exams. The fourth factor is proficiency. Now there's a couple of ways to measure proficiency in the LES. First, you can view your proficiency rating for each topic. You should shoot for an advanced proficiency rating or higher on most topics. Second, the LES displays your score within each problem set. Scores of 70% or higher on practice problems and mock exams are a good target and are associated with a high likelihood of passing. Although don't fret too much if you fall in the 60% range on some topics. If you're preparing for an exam, here's your to-do list. Put in the time. Create a study plan and start early. Consistency is best. A little each day is better than studying only on the weekends and putting it out of mind during the week. And don't forget to leave yourself at least a few weeks at the end for final review. Progress through the entire curriculum. Again, start early. If you find yourself running out of time, you still can pass. But it's better to fall a little short in several areas than to skip entire topics. Practice. Correctly answer at least a thousand practice problems. And when you miss a question, review the answer and make sure you understand why you missed it. And lastly, aim for at least an advanced proficiency rating in most topics and scores of 70% or more on practice problems and mock exams. One last tip, if you fail an exam and you are reattempting a level, which is a common occurrence, make sure you do two things. First, sign up to take the exam again as quickly as is practical for you so that you can build on your existing knowledge while it is still fresh in mind. And second, make sure you focus your efforts on areas where you're the weakest. Two tools can help you with that. Your score report, which shows areas where you are relatively strong and weak on the exam. And secondly, again, the adaptive study plan on the LES, which can help you prioritize topics according to your strengths and weaknesses. Check out our Study Smart video series to learn more about how to turn on that feature. I know this is a really tough exam. It takes tremendous discipline to get through it all. But that is also what makes it so valuable to employers and the marketplace. It's a signal that you are ethical, competent, goal-oriented, and disciplined. Very best wishes to you on exam day. Thank you.